So what we're going to learn in subsequent videos is that the slope of the isoquants and the slope of the isocosts are going to be intricate part of explaining how we minimize the cost of producing. And so let's real quick go over the slope of the isoquant. So the slope of the isoquant is just how the isoquant changes, how the labor we use changes as we move along the isoquant curve. And what it says is when we're using a whole bunch of labor, let's say we're using like a hundred laborers, if one, if we want to replace one laborer, how much capital will we have to increase by in order to maintain our current production levels? And as you can see, going from A to B only requires a very slight increase in capital, okay? That's called delta K. And that delta K, um, in order to go from 100 to 99 labor hours, is just how valuable labor is over how valuable capital is. And that's known as the marginal rate of technical substitution between labor and capital, which is a mouthful, but all it means is something very intuitive. If labor is really valuable, in order to replace that last labor, you're going to have to have a huge delta K. So if you're up here and you're in a highly automated process, you just got a couple engineers and a couple of mechanics, and you want to reduce the number of engineers, maybe down to nothing, you would have to have such a high amount of delta K. That delta K is huge in order to maintain production. You would have to get a robot that could think like an engineer, problem solve, be a mechanic. Um, so that delta K is huge because that last labor is really, really valuable. Versus down here, maybe you're already at the point of diminishing marginal returns from labor. We've got laborers waiting in line for capital. And so that marginal rate of technical substitution is just what's known as the marginal product of labor over the marginal product of capital, which is just how valuable labor is over how valuable capital is. And that will be an important part of us understanding how to actually choose the cost minimizing point of production. In our next video, we'll look at the slope of the ISO costs.